So we are here today with another confirmed transfer episode. We've got six new players today that have found brand new clubs this week. Or they've been, you know, sort of had their contract 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 ripped up so we're looking at four signings today so four players that found brand new clubs and then we've got two players that have been released that i was a little bit shocked about but they have been released and yeah they're not part of the new season or next season plans for these teams as always the trans i mean the transfer series is just absolutely smashing it this one the most recent one is nearly on 4,000 likes now i haven't had 4,000 likes on a video in a long long time so i'm really really grateful for that if we can get half that on this video 2,000 thumbs up and likes that'd be amazing obviously we'll bring another episode in like two three days time but until then, let's get into the first transfer of the week. It's a big one, okay? It's, well, the, a lot of them are quite big, okay? But this is, this was a big one. So we got Andreas in yesterday. He's actually confirmed he's gone to Japan. He's gone to v Vissel Kobe. Kobe, I don't know how you pronounce that. If you're talking Kobe... Uh, okay, no, I'm, I'm just going to forget I even said that. So yes, he's been unveiled, of course, to the fans, to the team. Obviously, he's there holding a shirt. He's holding a picture and stuff like that. So, you know, can't get really any more confirmed than that, to be fair, can you? But there you go. He's walking through the tunnel. He's got his new number eight top. He's there doing keepy uppies. A bit like what, like, Real Madrid and Barcelona do when they make a big sign in, they come out into the stadium, they do a few keepy uppies in the shirt, fans are there, and that sort of goes. That doesn't really happen in the Premier League, but in Japan, looks like it happens too. So, as you guys are aware, he was released by Barcelona. He actually does have a contract for life for Barcelona, whatever that means, whatever that entails. Don't really know, but you know, that means he wants to go back to Barcelona after this to be a coach or whatever, and I'm sure the opportunity will be there for him. Now, I really thought this guy was going to China. One of the sponsors of one of the big Chinese teams come out and said that they've already spoke to Iniesta, and a deal has pretty much already been done. That was incorrect. A deal wasn't done, okay? He's gone to Japan, of course. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the same team, okay, that, that actually has, I think... I think Podolski playing from. I think that's the case. I'll have to Google that and check. That's just top of my head. So it says that Iniesta appeared before a packed press conference in Tokyo on Thursday, along with Kobe's or Kobe's billionaire owner. He shot. Okay, this is gonna be. Good. Here we go. I've got to give this my best shot. Hiroshi Mikitani. Okay, that is what I'm gonna do. This guy's a billionaire, mate. He's own. But of course, of course, Iniesta is gonna be getting well paid. We all knew that anyway. So yeah, there we go. Okay, Podol they signed Podolski last year, but the German strikers ruled out until the end of June with an injured calf. So you know. What? They're not going to be playing together just yet. So, yeah, that was the first one. It's time to move on to another player now. £25 million, pounds, I think, the next one costs. So, it's a little bit more interesting. We've got some money moves happening already. Now, we actually have Condogbia, okay? Valencia signed this guy permanently, okay? A €25 million Euro transfer, I believe, which is quite a lot of money, of course. Condogbia, he was dubbed to be one of the best talents in Europe, like, a couple of years ago. So, he was actually there on loan previously with Valencia from Inter Milan. And the La Liga side have actually exercised the right to purchase, which was in his contract for the loan. Valencia signed Inter and French international Condogbia on a permanent basis following a successful on loan move, okay? So he signed their contract running until 2022, so we've got another like four years yet, and the transfer fee is reported to be in the region of 25 million euros. So Valencia have confirmed a 25 euros deal and it contains a release clause of 80 million euros. So if Condogbia does, you know, has a really good season next year with Valencia and someone else wants to buy him a big gun if you like, they've got to pay 80 million euros if they're going to get Condogbia from, of course, Valencia. So yeah, Condogbia, he's been in Seville, he's been in Lens, Monaco, of course, Inter Milan, Valencia on loan, now Valencia permanently. Played, was he played a few games for the French international team as well, five appearances for them, all the youth stages and stuff. He was really, you know, he's supposed to be a big, big talent, of course. So yeah, very interesting stuff. That was the second player, of course. We're going to move on to a third player now. That was, uh, it was interesting because it was a 25 million euro move, but he's already been at Valencia on loan. So, you know, it's not as exciting as a big transfer, but, you know, it is exciting, it is exciting. I mean, what do you think? the Gareth Bale interview yesterday, actually. I mean, don't talk about the game and the goals because, you know, it's going to upset a few people. But Gareth Bale's interview after the game was, I thought, pretty interesting, actually, what he had to say. So, a Premier League club has made a new signing here. Okay, we've got Brighton. They've actually signed a guy called Florent Andone. And he's joined on a five-year deal, which is a pretty big contract. So, Brighton making moves, making their first signing, if you like. Is it their first signing? I think it is. So, they signed this guy from Deportivo. He's a striker. He's called Andone. He's 25 years of age. And he signed him for an undisclosed fee. We don't know how much they paid for him. He's a Romanian international, but he signed a big five-year deal. So they obviously see a lot in this guy. Now, Chris Hewitt actually come out and said he's a player we have tracked for some time, and he would add a new dimension, okay, to our attacking options. He is a very hard-working player, and he's proven his quality at the highest level in Spain and as well at international level. I am looking forward to working with this guy next year. So Deportivo, they were actually were relegated from the Liga last season, so that's probably one of the reasons why he's left and why they've sold him and why he's moved on. He's got 21 caps for Romania as well, including three appearances at Euro 2000. 
16. So he has got quite a lot of experience, actually. Brighton have probably got himself a decent little player. Here. So looking at his Ultimate Team card, I mean, he's a 79 rated, pretty normal card. I mean, he's got a 99 rated card, of course, but, you know, that's not really what we're talking about. Very average stats, really. He's got a bit of physicalness to him. But he, to be honest, he's all right all round, okay? Not a player you probably use in FIFA, but it's a Premier League signing. It's a Brighton signing, so I've got to include it in the video. So there you go. Third signing, boom, boom, boom. Getting through him. Next up is a player that I thought was quite interesting. 26.4 million euros for this guy. He's obviously a very young, talented player, and I want to do a bit of research into him and see what you guys know about him and see what you guys think about him. So we got Paulinho, okay? This guy, he's just signed for Bayer Leverkusen, okay? Which is, um, you know, obviously a pretty big team. So he's a teenage sensation, apparently. They paid 26 million euros to sign this guy from Brazil. So, you know, he's got to be a very young, talented guy. He's 17 years of age, so he's very, very young. Apparently, Bayer Leverkusen have beaten off competition, okay, from a host of top European clubs to secure the services of highly rated Brazilian teenager Paulinho. Paulinho from Vasco da Gama. So he rejoined this summer after his 18th birthday on 15th of July and he's pending the deal through till 2023. So that's a big five year deal. Now the CEO of Leverkusen said the signing of, the signing of Paulinho is a huge successful one for us. I'm happy we've been able to continue our special Brazilian tradition which highlights by Leverkusen's presence in South America. So this guy basically has been dubbed as an ex caca but if you guys want to believe that you can believe that if you want to. I'm not the type of guy that dubs I, I, I don't like it when we dub players with these names. I don't like it. So it's very interesting, okay, of course. Now let's actually have a, can I have a look at this guy? I don't know if he's got a Wikipedia page. Probably not yet. Let's have a look. So I'm struggling to find his Wikipedia page, to be honest. I mean, he's very young, of course. He's only 17 years of age. He's been playing in Brazil. So I'm not sure I'm going to find him, really. Football, okay, football sportsman. Let's have a look. I've actually managed to find him, okay. So he's played for Brazil under 17s, under 15s as well. So obviously that's pretty decent. International experience at a young age, which is all right. Other than that, there's not really too much about him other than the club record deals. The most expensive player that they've ever sold the club he's coming from. But yeah, huge talent. Looking forward to seeing what this guy can do in, the, in obviously, in Bundesliga. Next up, we've got a player that's been released. He's a bit of a ginger Pele, they call him, okay? James Collins has been released from West Ham. We don't know what's going to happen with him. 34 years of age. What is the Welsh international going to do nowadays, anyway? Is he going to carry on playing football or not? Now, apparently, Glasgow Rangers have showed a bit of interest in signing him. Of course, that is a Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard's looking for that experience. Now, I wouldn't be surprised, okay? The, obviously, the 34-year-old is very well experienced in the Premier League internationally as well. So, if the, obviously, Steven even Jared of Rangers does go and sign him, then he's going to be, that's a decent transfer to be fair. Obviously, if they do sign him, it'll be a free transfer. So, you know, obviously they won't be uh, eating, eating into their big budgets, but obviously he's going to be probably going to be quite a bit of wages to be fair. He's just left the Premier League. He's not going to leave for for peanuts, if you like. So yeah, there we go. Can we see Steven Gerrard's first confirmed signing? I don't know. We've Obviously, he's confirmed to have left West Ham. Let's take a look at now the last player to leave West Ham, okay? The last player of the episode. So it is the one and only Patrice Evra. I don't know why I said it like that, but Patrice Evra has confirmed he's left West Ham. He only played five games from him in the end, which is not very good. Five games is, uh, like I say, that's pretty poor, actually. I didn't realise it was that low. So obviously, he's in Vegas in a minute. I've seen that on his Instagram in a minute, okay? That was quite a funny story he posted the other day. Fair to him, it was pretty decent. Now, he's he signed a contract which lasted until June 2018, which they're not going to be renewing. And he made his club debut against Liverpool, which is a big game, of course. Obviously, that history of United, Liverpool, etc., etc. But it's never really, really worked out for him West Ham this year. It's not really worked out for him and David Moyes. I'm surprised he went to West Ham, to be fair, after Marseille. Obviously, you know, he had his Marseille contract ripped up, I believe. Obviously, he went to Juventus after Manchester United. He had a pretty good time there, of course. And yeah, there you go. There's a player that's another one that's left. I'm, uh, I'm, a, not, I'm not very shocked by this one, to be fair. But I'm not sure if the 37 year old. That's it. 37. We'll go on and find another club. I'm not really too sure. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, this has been all the transfers in the, in the last few days, to be fair. I'm going to give my final thoughts and opinions now, and then we're going to end the video. So, yeah, there we go. So, the first player, I'm going to go for Iniesta. I think he's gone to Japan, of course. Oh, oh, I don't think he's gone to Japan. I think he's gone to Japan to earn some decent money and have a bit of a culture change, which I think he'll probably enjoy. Obviously, they're owned by absolute billionaires, so he's going to be, get, he's going to be getting paid very, very handsomely. I think he'll do well there because, you know what, he's, he's done well in the best league or one of the best leagues in Europe, whatever you want to call it. He's, he's just a legendary player. Then we've got Kondogbia. Okay, this is where the loan move situation actually works. So he's gone to there on loan, not to go back to Inter Milan, but Valencia to say, we want to buy him on a permanent. They've done that. They've exercised the clause. He's going to do well though, of course, because he's done well previously. And obviously they like him. He likes the club. Florin Andon. I don't know what's going to happen with him. Brighton, I don't know whether he'll perform or not. I don't know a lot about him. So it'd be unfair for me to really comment, but I wish him all the best of luck. Paulinho, so say the next Kaká to buy 
Leverkusen for the most expensive transfer this episode, believe it or not. 26.4 million euros. A lot to live up to. Obviously, he's gone to Leverkusen, so good luck to him. Then we've got James Collins, of course, being obviously sacked off by West Ham. It looks like he's on his way to Rangers, but we'll have to wait and see what happens there. If he does go to Rangers, then, you know, a lot of experience are there, so I'm sure he'll do well. And Patrice Evro, I think, will probably retire. So there we go, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. It's been a pleasure as always. Take it easy. Peace. A little stronger now